Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to caramelize winter squash in the oven. Now the value that caramelizing your squash in the oven brings is all about the flavor. You can do a traditional bake in the oven and still produce a very lovely tasting winter squash. But when you take the extra time to caramelize, the flavor is so worth it if you have the time. That's the only downside. It does take a little more time, but if you're wanting, I'm gonna show you just exactly how to do that today. This is my winter squash that I will be caramelizing today in the oven. The variety called a sunshine, it's not a pumpkin. I'm gonna cut it open, scoop out the seeds, quarter it, then place it in my baking dish. I'm going to caramelize some garlic and onions along with this. So first I'm going to peel my garlic, then slice up my onion. I'm going to place everything into the baking dish, including the onions and the garlic. I want to make a note here that I'm not going to be oiling the squash, which is a very typical thing to do. I just sometimes like to bake low fat. I'm also not adding any seasoning because I'm going to use this squash in a soup and the soup will get the seasoning. However, if you want to season your squash with some salt, some pepper, some Italian seasonings, herbs and spices, this is the time to do it. I'm going to add about a cup and a half of water to the base of the baking pan. Now I'm gonna put the squash in the oven at 350 for 90 minutes. It's been 90 minutes and I'm checking on the squash. As you can see, it's really nice and tender. This is the perfect baked squash. But we're going for caramelization, so it's going to go back in the oven at 350 for another 90 minutes. Plus, I'm going to add a little more water to the pan so that the squash doesn't burn. This next 90 minutes is the crucial time to keep an eye on the squash. You want it to begin to turn a golden brown. Keep an eye on the water at the bottom of the pan. As long as there's just a little bit, you're good, but you don't want it to be dry. If I'm going for the caramelization of a squash, I go slower and lower temperature in the oven. That being what I'm doing here. You could go 375 degrees as well to shave off a little time, but I have found if you bake too fast, the caramelization won't develop as richly. Kind of like caramelized onions in the saute pan, low and slow produces the caramelization of the onion, whereas fast and high produces fried onions. The squash has finished its second 90 minute round and I'm pulling it out of the oven here. As you can see, the tips of the onions and the squash are a little bit singed, but it's not burned for if you look at the flesh of the squash, it's a nice deep golden color. Here's the onions now and I really want to point out here this dark brown juice. This means the caramelization took place. Notice that the juice is not black, that would mean it was burned. It's not burned, but it's a deep reddish brown color juice. That's exactly what we're going for here. This is the other half of the squash that I did separately and I just wanted to show you, you don't necessarily have to quarter it or have it face up. This squash I baked face down and it's just the whole thing. And again, I'm gonna be scooping out the insides and using it in a soup. I want to show you the color of the crust that develops at the bottom of the pan when you caramelize a squash. It's that same reddish brown color as the juice that I showed you earlier. This is a great sign. It means it did caramelize. And look at the shell of the squash. It's that darkish color on it. If it were just a light bake, it would still be a golden skin, but this is starting to brown and turn, and that's the sign that we want for caramelization. Let's take a look at the flesh of the squash after caramelization, and I'm pointing out particularly the corner that I just pricked with the fork. You see that dark color of the flesh? That's exactly what we're going for. And lastly, I wanna give you one more example of a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is a butternut squash that has been just traditionally baked, and on the right side is a caramelized baked butternut squash. You can see the browning skin, the singed flesh, and the dark reddish brown juice. So there you have it, how to caramelize winter squash in the oven. I hope that you really enjoy the flavor. Leave me a comment below if it's the first time you've ever caramelized your winter squash and let me know what you think of that flavor. I totally get it if you don't have the time to do a caramelization of your squash in the oven. That's why I have a 12 minute 
squash cooking video. What's that? Did I say 12 minutes? Yes, I said 12 minutes to go from raw to a perfectly cooked squash in 12 minutes. And if that interests you, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna give you a video link. I'll also put a link in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye. If you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you're notified each time I post a new video weekly. And as promised, here's the video for lightning fast cooked squash. And check out this video on how to make roasted winter squash soup an absolute delight during the fall and winter seasons. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.